Hello everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is um Kansas Love Reading for June. June 2017. So I hope you guys are doing great. Um, I was gonna go on hiatus, but I had to do you guys' video before I go into my hermit shell mode. If you know what I mean. So I'm doing something different. Uh, I'm doing you and your partner, okay? So I'm going to be doing you on this side, your partner on this side. I'm going to be um, looking at your desires and your partner desires. I'm going to be looking at the blockages and the outcome, okay? So let's see. What do we have for your partner? Spirit's king. Okay. So this is your partner. You could be dealing with another water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, such as yourself. Your partner has... The Ten of Cups, um, which is the desire. So, this is the desire. Sorry. This is the blockage. And then we have the outcome, which is the Queen of Swords. So, some of you guys could be dealing with a um, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Um... Others of you could be dealing with water signs, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, individual. And what is your desires? So you have here the page of wands, okay? The blockage. So you have here the empress. Interesting. And the outcome is the death card. Ooh. Okay, then to get another outcome, you guys received another outcome, which is the two of cups. Okay, and on the bottom, you guys have the eight of swords. So you guys are stuck on making a decision about something here. Um, you could be in the imprisonment of your own thoughts. I feel like some of you guys can tell you're disappointed about could it be a water sign or an air sign. I say water and air. Um, I feel like you ended something with someone here. Okay, you could have ended it with a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, or Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer individual here. I do see you um, stuck about making a decision. This is like Scorpio reading. Wow. So some of you guys might have Scorpio Moon or Rising here. Maybe some of you guys have Cancer Rising or Cancer Moon. Um, okay, so I do see here where you guys want justice in this situation. I feel like whoever you ended something with, you guys are going to reconcile again, okay? So let's delve right into your reading. So your partner, your partner, um, I feel like your partner has a lot of option here. Um, I do feel like your partner um, do, <laughs> either they smoke a lot of um Mary Jane or cannabis as the proper term will be or they dream a lot they see a lot of things in their dream um or they could hallucinate after they smoke or whatever it is they do any drug that they do um or they could just have options I feel like it's options um the blockage here is not committed I feel like um, they might want commitment, but they're not committed because they have all these options. And the outcome is um, the reason why they're not committing is because they want the truth to come out. Sounds like a Scorpio reading to me. Cancer. Um, also, for you guys, I do see here you guys' desire is to send a message. Why don't you send it? Um, you guys' desire is to send a message here. Um, is to take action, but you're, you're taking little baby steps to send in this message, um, Cancer. <laughs> or oh, your partner could be doing this. Um, and the blockage is options. Mm. So I feel like the blockage um, you have with your partner is there. You, could, you feel like there's a third party involved in this situation. And... That's why maybe that's why you're hesitant to send this message. And I feel like that's why you guys ended something. So you can't so some of you guys are dealing with a Scorpio for sure. Okay. And I feel like something here has ended. 
the outcome is the, is ending. The outcome is an ending. Okay? And this is someone that you have a soul connection with. This is someone that you have a very, very deep connection with this person. All right, Kansas, I had to move the camera a little bit so you guys could see. I'm sorry if you guys could hear my son. He's playing a video game. Forgive him. Okay. Let's get clarification on the dead card. I want clarification on the dead card. Why is the dead card here? Spirits? Why is the outcome death? Why is the outcome an ending? I feel like if there's an ending, something new is going to arise. Give me clarification for the dead card. Okay. The reason why there's an ending is because um, some of you guys might be going to court um, to divorce your partner. Some of you guys um, might just want the truth, Cancer. Um, that's why you guys want the truth from this person. And I think maybe this person is not. It's crazy. You have the Queen of Swords here and your partner also have the Queen of Swords in a different deck. Okay? So you're both <laughs> wanting the same thing because your partner got this in their outcome and you got the clarification in your outcome. That's insane. Just like Scorpios. So some of you guys are dealing with a Scorpio heavy. Um, I feel like you both want the truth from each other. You both want um, clarity here. Okay? Let me see. Give me a clarification for the Queen of Swords. For Cancers. Give me a clarification for the Queen of Swords here. Cancers. All right, thank you. So I feel like you want the truth in order to move forward into this commitment, okay? You want the truth. You want a straightforward answer about the third-party situation so that you guys can move forward into building a better foundation, okay? And I feel like that's what's going on here, Cancers. You guys might already be in a committed relationship with this person. You guys could live together. Um, you guys, some of you guys could be married with this person. Um, I also feel like um, you guys feel like you've been loyal to this person. Whoever this is, some of you guys could be dealing with an earth sign. Uh, maybe this person has um, Libra, Moon, or Rising, or Sun, or Aquarius, or Gemini. Um, I feel like you guys do want commitment with this person. You guys do want marriage with this person. But in order to move forward, you guys want the truth about a third party situation. So let's give me a clarification on the imprints card here. But you feel like you're connected with this person on a deeper level. But you feel like this person has a lot of options here. Okay. So you want communication about this third party situation. I don't know if you guys know this or you guys are just in the creating this in your mind, um, Cancer. So it's giving me communication on the eight of ones. And I feel like you guys are going to receive a lot of communication. Okay. Let me just pick one from here. Okay. So you guys want communication um, from this person that you've once walked away from. And I see 8-8. Eight, eight, so that means you guys are transforming. Your relationship is going through some type of transformation here. You guys walked away from this person before. And it was probably a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries individual. They could have water in their chart as well. Okay. Or they could have fire in their chart and it could be a water sign. Um, I feel like you guys have walked away from this person because you felt like maybe you felt like they were not communicating um, as you would like. And you had to go away because you want to get to the ninth camp. You want you want them to take action. You want them to take action. You want them to take action and communicating to you what's going on and why is this third party showing up? Who's this woman? Okay. Who's she? And why is she here? You know, so one of the third party could be the third party could either be a Leo, Libra, or Taurus. So you could be dealing with 